Hey guys, welcome to Oxman Garage. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to install an RCI skid plate on a 21 F-150. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Make sure you like and subscribe. Today I'm installing a skid plate on my 21 F-150. This is a RCI Off-Road. They sell this two-piece skid plate for the 09 and up F-150. What this is gonna do is kind of protect your undercage area where your oil pan, your transmission pan, and any of your uh, power steering components so they're nice and protected. So from the factory, you got that floppy cardboard uh, skid plate that really doesn't do much. and it just eventually falls off anyway. So follow along, I'll show you how to install this. All right, so this is the kit that I bought. This is the two piece skid plate from RCI Off-Road. You get the front piece, the back piece, and uh, you get two brackets and then you get hardware. So if you go to their website and you click on Off-Road, skid plates and then you go to the f-150 and then 15 to 23 you'll see the different types of skid plates that they have like this is their full skid plate package where you get the catalytic converter and exhaust protection and then this is the one that i bought right here so i'll click on on the second so then here shows the other sections that they sell and that's basically all their products but i really liked this one because it replaces the factory cardboard piece so if you click on this you'll see the different types of pictures and then you can either get the steel or the aluminum and i went with just the 10 gauge of steel and it was 345 dollars for me you'll see the full description and then and then yeah and then you want to go to the instructions so the instructions are actually right on here that qr code you want to scan that with your phone and that'll lead you to the instructions or if you just go on their website hit menu and go to let me go to install guides and then if you just scroll down to F-150, you'll see right here it's 09 plus, and you saw in that one it was, um, it said 15 to 23, but for the instructions you want to have the 09 to 20, I guess they haven't updated that yet, but yeah, here's the full instructions on your phone, and it's just two pages, really easy install, really quick. All right, so now we went over everything. We're gonna install this bad boy. Alrighty, so now we're underneath our truck and I have a two post lift with a low ceiling. So this is the, as much height as I can get, which I'm lucky. Uh, if you, your car is lifted or even the stock ride height, you can still fit under here and do it, but it'll be just a little bit uncomfortable. So we wanna remove the two floppy cardboard um, pieces so this front one up here there's gonna be two bolts in the front and those are gonna be a 15 millimeter and then the two in the rear right here are gonna be an eight millimeter so you want to remove those okay so this is the hardware that's gonna come in your little bag you're gonna get eight of these hex bolts and that's like a 15 millimeter you're going to get eight washers you're going to get six of these short speed clips and then you're going to get two long speed clips so that's the hardware that you're going to get okay so you need to get these two brackets right here that come with the kit and we need to locate the uh the two holes that are behind the tow hooks so there's the tow hook right there and right behind you see it's like little square and then like a circle that's where your long speed clips are going to go on either side so that's that side and then you have this side right here 
So you're going to put your two brackets on there. Alright, so here's your long speed clips. They're the silver ones. They're going to go on either side. Right there. Alright, so you want to install a short speed clip on the bracket right there. And then you want to have a bolt and a washer ready. Alright, so we got the bracket on. And you notice the bolt is right there. And make sure you don't tighten yet. Just have it snug. And then the short speed clip is right there. So next what we're going to do is we're going to put another bolt right here on this short speed clip and make sure you don't tighten that. Alright so now I installed the short speed clips on either side. So I got the other one right there. And then I installed two more speed of their speed clips on this brace right here that kind of covers the, the oil pan. And the factory had this factory brace that I removed and this was to hold up the the floppy stock skid plate so I ended up just take removing that and then putting the RCI speed clips on either side so now I'm going to hang the the front plate all right so we got the plate on when you're putting this on upside down you just want to work one side in underneath that air dam plastic piece going across and then you just want it hanging by that bolt right there and then get the other side so now it's just hanging and now we're gonna fold it back in and it's gonna go right on that speed clip right there right in there all right so i have the front plate on and I took the two bolts on either side, and those are loose. So those are loose, and then I was able to put the second plate on. So you just put the second plate on, they got these little tabs on there. It's not a full, and you just want to push the plate up on there on either side. And then on the back, you're just going to use that existing oil cross member right here, and then you're going to put the bolts on the back. And that's pretty much to it. And now I'm just going to tighten everything down. Alright, so we have the front and the rear plate installed. And it looks great. I have all the bolts tightened down. The one thing is that with the front plate, if you're going to change your oil and take the oil filter out, you're going to loosen these two front bolts here. You don't want to take them out. And then you want to loosen the two bolts right here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to slide the front plate out so you can gain access to the oil filter. And uh, that's pretty much it. I would put some anti-seize on those bolts too, uh, just so that they don't uh, seize up. But these are zinc-coated um, hex bolts. So... They're going to last a while, but I would still put some anti-seize on those threads. Alright guys, we're going to wrap up this video. As you can see, this is that stock flimsy piece that's on the front that we removed. And this isn't going to protect anything. You get a big rock or you scrape something underneath the underside of the vehicle, you have no protection. So that's going in the garbage and we're going to keep the RCI piece underneath the, uh, the truck for, uh, for a long time. So. If you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. If you wanna see more F-150 content, um, it's coming your way. So make sure you subscribe to the page. So uh, we'll catch you guys later. This is Josh with Oxman Garage.